everyone and welcome back to my channel for all things mommy, wife, and life. My name is Chessa. I'm currently 30 weeks pregnant in my third trimester with my second baby and I'm getting ready to start nesting like crazy. Which brings me to today's video. I'm going to be sharing with you guys all of my baby product regrets, everything that I wished I didn't get for my first baby. I know every pregnancy and every baby and every person is different but hopefully this gives you an insight on what not to waste your money on. So just take this video with a grain of salt because everybody is different. So without further ado, let's jump into the video. The first one is Sophie the Giraffe. I know people raved about this. I don't know where this rumor came from that this was such a great thing to have on hand. It's basically like a dog toy and honestly, I'll probably just give it to my dog because he loves it anyway. It has a squeaker in it, which I don't know why that should be enticing for a child because babies are not dogs. <laughs> But especially for the newborn phase, they can't fit Sophie in their mouth unless they're just nibbling on the tiny little ear. I mean, it's a cute toy, but honestly, like it doesn't fit into their mouth. It doesn't really help with teething as much as you think it would. My daughter barely used this, if at all. What we did use most is like the little banana teether. She didn't really care for teethers very much, but the banana one, I did notice her munching on a lot more. And Sophie the giraffe isn't cheap. I think she's like $25 and my daughter never used her. I'm definitely giving this one to the dog. Next up is a bottle warmer. I know people did discourage me from buying a bottle warmer before and I didn't listen to them and I was like, whatever, I'm just gonna get it anyway. If I don't use it, I don't use it. And surprise, surprise, I didn't use it. It took way too long for them to heat up the bottle. I have like an instant hot, instant cold machine with like filtered water and so I loved the instant hot feature. I could just pu push out a little bit of the instant hot water and then just heat up a bottle that way and then you just have to be careful that, you know, it's not going to get too hot. But honestly, this was a much quicker way to go. The bottle warmer, <laughs> waste of money. I know this is all on a lot of people's as well, but a diaper genie. I bought a diaper genie thinking that I was going to use it. Got all those little inserts in there. It was just so wasteful. Like, yeah, I'm sure it worked just fine to get rid of like any of like the pee smells or the poop smells. But I found myself, because those inserts are so expensive, I found myself just using a regular trash can for all of the pee diapers. And then I would use the Diaper Genie for the poop diapers. Because they were so expensive and I'm such a cheap person <laughs> when it comes to this kind of stuff, I was like, you know what, I'm just gonna throw the poop diapers in the regular trash anyway because honestly, they didn't smell that bad anyway. There was maybe one or two that really was nasty and I just took out the trash. I figured I'd take out the trash so often anyway that it's not really going to smell that bad anyway. <laughs> so for this second baby, I think I'm just gonna get either an Ubi or one of the other ones that you can just use regular plastic bags in, call it good if I get one at all. This isn't really a newborn item, it's kind of more of like a toddler item. Something that I definitely will not repurchase is the little tiny potty. It's really cute to have this potty. My daughter did use it a little bit. Mostly it was just kind of like a potty for her dolls. So it was just kind of more of like a toy than it was actually a functional potty. I ended up just getting one of those little potty training seats that go right on top of our potty. And that worked just as fine. Sippy cups that leak. There's so many different sippy cups I think I tried out and they all suck. The Nook ones suck. The Zach Thermos ones suck. The only sippy cups I found that are okay are like the I think they're by munchkin they're the spoutless sippy cups those are really nice even they do leak sometimes but especially like if you have milk in a container and then you open up the ones with the straws and then they like spurt milk out everywhere I don't even know how many brands I've tried until I finally found I think it's the thermos brand and it keeps the item cold or hot for like 12 hours or something like that the best thing about this is that the straw is curved so no matter how warm the item gets inside, when you open it up, it's not going to spurt milk out. That was the most annoying thing. I hated it so much because I knew as soon as I was gonna open whatever was in that cup, it was gonna spout out. Next one is a thermometer. So, I mean, yes, you need a thermometer, don't get me wrong. The one that I got was so awful. 
it gave you like three different readings. It wasn't really that accurate. I constantly was having to take her temperature. It was just like a forehead like temporal thermometer. It was stupid. I hated it. And so I definitely will not repurchase this. I'm going to get a different one. That's definitely higher, higher recommended. And I think now they probably have so many different thermometers out there because of COVID. So I definitely need to invest in a better thermometer. <laughs> the next item was DHA drops. So after the baby comes out and you're still taking your, your prenatal vitamins, hopefully with DHA in them, the baby can still get their DHA that way. But eventually I started doing half formula, half breast milk, and then eventually I think we switched her to all formula after maybe about nine months after I ran out of all my breast milk because the suckers dried up. So I thought, okay, the baby still needs DHA. She's not getting it from my breast milk. How can I supplement this DHA? And so I bought these drops at the health food store, safe for babies, all that stuff. My doctor said, no, you do not need these, absolutely not. And I was like, okay, I'm still gonna get them anyway. So I got them, I was mixing them with her milk and it completely changed the consistency and the taste of the milk and my daughter was not about this. So fortunately I wasted like another 20, 30 bucks on DHA drops that she never even used. Next up is the Baby Brezza. This is basically a Keurig for formula. And yes, it's awesome. Yes, it's amazing. I got this as a gift for my mother and I truly appreciated that gift. And I was super excited about it. My husband was excited about this. But honestly, it was like $180 for this, for this machine. And I just found that I was able to use Instant Hot, Instant Cold um, water machines so much easier. <laughs> this water machine was already something that we had. So this thing was amazing because because I could just do two ounces of the hot water, two ounces of the cold water, put the formula in and shake it up and it was the perfect temperature. So it was much easier to do that than to spend $180 on this machine that I didn't really need. So I will say that this machine was amazing. I probably, going back, would not have asked for it just because it was way too expensive of a gift and I could have used my other machine just as easily. Next was the this expensive, I don't even remember what brand it was, but it was such an expensive diaper bag and it was so cute because it looked like a purse but it was a one shoulder purse and I ended up selling it because it hurt my shoulder so much. Like you are carrying so much as it is. You're carrying an infant either on your hip or in a car seat. You're carrying a bag that's probably another 10, 20 pounds. I thought it was gonna be so much easier. Purse on one shoulder, baby on the other. No, it was so uncomfortable. The bag alone was super heavy. It was a gorgeous bag, don't get me wrong, but everybody was saying, get a backpack, get a backpack. And I was like not listening to them thinking, like, no, I want a bag that looks like a purse. Boy, was I wrong. I definitely am kicking myself for it now because I spent way too much money on a purse that was I didn't even use and then I ended up just getting a backpack anyway. Baby mittens is the next one. Baby mittens do not stay on your baby's hands. They're a pain in the butt because they constantly keep falling off. The babies eventually figure out how to take them off. If you want your baby not to scratch their face, get the onesies that have the mittens built in. That's gold. Pacifiers. I opened so many pacifiers, bought so many cute pacifiers for my daughter and she hated them all. Every single one. I guess you never know if your baby's gonna like them until you try them and because there's so many out there, there are so many different ones that you can try. What I do recommend is just use it, getting those free baby bags that they give you when you open up registries and just try those ones first. Hopefully they will attach to one of those. If not, buy one of a different brand. Don't buy like a whole pack because that was my mistake. Bought a whole bunch of different ones and then baby never used them. I bought like a ton of those Wubbinubs. They have little animals on them. I opened up all of them. She didn't like any of them. <laughs> Such a waste. They're so cute. I know, but such a waste. This is on a lot of people's regrets list too, wipe warmers, and as many people told me not to get them, still wanted one. It dried out my wipes too fast, and so I'd have to like re-wet them. I don't recommend the wipe warmer. It's nice to have when the wipes are still wet, and I know that they have like a remister, so you can remist your wipe and everything after they do dry out, but what's the point? And plus, what I do is I just kind of warm it up in my hands a little bit, and that's just as good because usually with the wipe warmer, as soon as I get the wipe out and start wiping them with it, it's getting it's getting cold anyway, so there's really no point. I got tons and tons of swaddle blankets, and my daughter hated to be swaddled, so 
yeah, as great as it is to have all those muslin blankets, and I still did keep some for my second baby, because maybe she'll like to be swaddled, who knows? Because my daughter hated to be swaddled, and I opened up tons and tons of swaddle blankets, it just wasn't worth it for me, and especially because they can get really pricey, especially the Aiden and I ones. I know that this one's another controversial one, because so many mothers love these, but like the Sully wraps, those like other little like fabric-y wraps, I just don't have the patience to try to sit there and learn it. I had to like get out the instruction manual every time. I felt like every time I was doing it wrong, my daughter like was in there once and she did fall asleep and it was great. And then I could never get her to really like it ever again. After that, she just kind of flailed and was like not wanting to be constricted. I tried so many different ones and I couldn't get her to like any of them. I know some people swear by them, but not for me. The cart covers, and I never used it. This might be a little different now because of COVID. If you do have to take your baby to the grocery store, these actually might be something that you would want to have just because the carts are gross and even if you clean them, it might be nice to have a cart cover. I never used it with my first baby, again, prior pandemic, so maybe this is something that you'd want for your, for your baby nowadays. Button up pajamas, let me just say right now, button up pajamas, it's not worth it. I'm always like pinching the baby with them because I'm super not coordinated. I am always like one button off because again, not coordinated or you're half asleep and like who's got the patience to figure out which button goes where. And it's so time consuming and baby's always flailing around. No, get the zipper pajamas, the ones that start from the bottom, the ones that go from the top, I don't care. Zippers or magnets, that's the way to go. This kind of goes along with the pacifier thing. I tried getting so many different types of bottles for my baby. Again, I recommend just getting those freebie bags because most of the time they, they come with like a sample bottle. But I got like this huge kit of Dr. Brown's bottles and my daughter didn't even like these bottles. Some kids love them. My daughter didn't. The ones that I found that worked well were the Playtex ones. So I recommend just buying one of the bottles, testing it out, seeing if your baby likes it first before buying a huge pack or just using the free ones that come in your free gift bags. A cloth covered high chair. This took me a long time to learn <laughs> because cloth covered high chairs are just a pain in the butt. Yeah, you might think it's more comfortable for your baby, less chilly when they sit down, but honestly, no. Just get the $20 one from Ikea, call it good. That's what I'm registering for this year. <laughs> You don't need these high chairs that are super expensive. Just get the, the cheap one from Ikea. It's gonna get food on it. It's gonna be easily wipeable because it doesn't have a fabric cover on it. Trust me. And the last thing is just opening everything before baby even arrives. Yes, you should have some things that are already opened and washed, but please don't open everything and take the tags off of everything and wash everything before the baby comes because you are not gonna know how this baby is going to be. Every baby has a different personality. And yes, I know you wanna be prepared prepared before baby comes, but you save so much money when you don't open everything at once. So that's my last tip for you. If you're saying, great Chessa, thanks for telling me what I don't need, but how about telling me what actually worked for you? I got you covered. Make sure you're subscribed to my channel with the bell notification on because my next video is going to be my holy grail items for baby. So make sure you stay tuned. I will have that video up next Monday at 8 a.m. And that's everything for this video. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Make sure that you are subscribed to my channel if you haven't already. And if you already are a current subscriber, thank you so much. I truly do appreciate you guys. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.